Well, thanks for joining me today. So I am so sorry that I didn't get more videos done last week. Thank you for uh, your understanding since I had a migraine for so many days last week. And it really threw my schedule off for this week too. But um, I watched somebody that was talking about when you need to take a break from YouTube. And I'm thinking that right now I'm going to have to take a break. But I want to show you some stuff in the process. So this is the one that I made for my daughter Tristan and her husband Eli. It is resin. I wanted to show you how beautiful it looks. Look at how that just shines and shimmers so much. It is absolutely beautiful. All right, and then I have the one that I did for my daughter Tiana and her husband David. I was so disappointed because after I put the resin on it, I realized that I did not put my initials on the front of this like I do on my paintings. And when I resined it, um, I covered them with tents, and then I covered this one, worked on some other ones that were under a different tent, and then I went back to work on the other two, these two that were under the tent as well. And when I put the tent back on it, I bumped the painting. And so I was so upset today when I looked at it and I'm like, oh great, now I've got to redo the resin on this painting. But then I got to thinking that, well, this is the one that I didn't sign, so I'm going to sign it and then I'll resin over it and that way the signature will stay good. But this is the one that had the pearlescent colors in it. Look at how beautiful those look together. I love what the resin does for the paintings. It looks like they are behind a sheet of glass but it does make it hard to show it on videos because it shines so much and you get so much of that light. But I love how the colors really interacted together and the beautiful colors that were on that. So then here is the one that I made for my son Dustin and his wife. Elizabeth. So much shimmer and sparkle. Look at that. This one has two colors that are the extreme glitter. And then it has metallics and I think it has a pearlescent or iridescent color in it as well. But just love how these turn out. So there's that one. And then I made one for my son David and his wife Maya. So here is this one. Now the colors that he chose were all metallic, but one of them I switched with a an extreme glitter, which really, I love the way the glitter catches the light too, because it catches the light in a different way than the metallics do. So that's why I like using them both, because I like the effect that you get from both of them. But I love how these colors made all of these really beautiful cells. So there is that one. My sister is over there making her, Hi, getting the stuff ready to make some coasters. So I wanted to make sure that I showed you all of these pieces that got dried and resined. Here's the one that I made for me that was 
a flip cup using all of the reclaimed paint from making the ones for my children. So this is a special painting for me. One of my favorites, for sure. I <laughs> love that one. <laughs> one I of the things I really, really like about these flip cups that I make using reclaimed paint is that I put all kinds of colors in here that I would not normally put together because I wouldn't think that they would go well, but they turn out really beautiful in these. Yeah. Okay, so this one... Oh, I don't remember if this was my pearls or my iridescence. If I had a chance, I would look and I would know. But just wanted to show you what these look like. So, like I said, it's so hard to see because of the way the light reflects off of them. But look at all of the colors that are actually in there when you hit it with the light. It is really, really pretty. Okay. And then this one is an old one that I did. It, I didn't have a video of it, I don't think. But uh, we tried using some oil-based paint. Because when my sister purchased it, we were thinking that it was the acrylics, but it ended up not being. And so it made these interesting blobs. And actually, I think so, we did have a video of that. Yeah, maybe we did. I think I watched that the other day. Okay, yeah. Well, so there's probably a video then. So if you <laughs> check my older videos, Sorry. you'll probably see this one. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's it's been a long, well, a long everything. <laughs> it might point. have been a video of the one. Yeah, I think I remember the video of you pointing some of those blobs out. Probably, yeah. But I can't remember if it was my painting or your painting. But anyway, so there's that one. It is. So this one's available for sale. This one's available for sale. This one, my niece did. So beautiful. It's not available for sale. It's hers. But <laughs> really, really pretty. But it sounds like she's getting on the bandwagon. <laughs> uh, this one is the one that I used all of my extreme glitters in. And Gorgeous. look how the light catches that so much it is so so pretty all of the colors that are in there look at how it catches them so just think how that would look like hanging on your wall that would be a really neat conversation piece it's for sale This is the one that I did a flip cup um, after I reclaimed all the paint from making those other ones. So it has pearlescent, iridescent, um, extreme glitter, and then I did add a little bit of 24 karat gold that mostly decided to stay in one spot, but then as it dried, it started popping up in a few other places. So that was cool. This one to me looks like outer space yes. and it really does look three dimensional to me. It's gorgeous. So, and in my opinion, not that you asked for it, but I think, yeah, I love that. It looks like the moon. This one and this one would go so good together because this looks like the galaxy and that looks like the moon and part of the Milky Way. Hmm. So those would be really neat together, just saying. So this one is for sale. <sighs> then I did these coasters, got them all resined. So that's what I've been doing with my time. Um, I spent all day Monday pretty much doing resin. I 
had to mix up a batch of resin three different times. Still didn't get everything resin that I had sitting out. Um, this is the one that I made that is a flip cup that my mom really likes. To me, it looks like an ocean. So, it looks like the ocean is coming in over the land and then it's starting to recede and that's why you're getting this movement this way. And it looks like there's two rocks here. Here is some of the sandy beach and here is the white froth from the waves. That one is available. This one was pearlescent colors and then a metallic turquoise. It's all resined and beautiful. So that one is available. Oh, this is the one that I think is the iridescence. So I think that other one was the pearlescent colors. And this one, to me, looks like it has a panda in it. When I was little, I think I was three. And I got a panda bear, a stuffed panda bear. And it was my favorite, favorite stuffed animal of all times. In fact, he was giant and I could lay on him and snuggle with him. And over the years, he got really old and lost a lot of his stuffing. And so his head was like kind of smooshed like that. And his body started getting slumpy like this. And so that's actually what it reminds me of is my old panda. And of course, I was very... Um, creative back then and his name was Panda. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is for sale as well. Panda B. <laughs> so, and then here's this one that I did quite a while ago also. I love how this brings out the metallics and everything that are used in this. Again, I mean, look how shimmery this is. It is absolutely gorgeous. And that one's available. And then this one is the one that I painted for the March challenge for KS Resin. I love how this turned out. And I love that metallic, but also that extreme sheen that's in here. It just gives it such a different look. But it's really, really pretty. So I'm going to take a picture of this now and enter it in the KS Resin monthly challenge that they have on their Facebook group. So if you want to look at that, you can get on their Facebook page. I think it's just KS Resin. I think if you search for it on Facebook, you'd find it. And each month they do a challenge and the winner gets a gallon of resin of their choice. So, there's that. And that also is available for sale if you're interested. So the reason I'm showing you all of these is because that's what I spent my time doing. I still have some coasters over here that I have set up ready to get resined. And... My sister and I are going to be going to a craft show in two weeks, less than two weeks. So it's the Saturday after Easter. So I guess maybe it's a little over two weeks. Anyway, just right around that. And so we're trying to get a bunch of stuff resined. And she's still painting coasters, but... We have all of those paintings, and I hate having them stacked that way. I keep lifting them up just to make sure that they don't stick on each other. And there's paintings up there, and 
there's coasters like all over the place there's coasters here there's paintings up there and a painting there and there's paintings down there and on the floor and just like all over where you look there's just paintings and so gonna sell all of them. so i've really been struggling with how do i get everything done that i need to get done because i'm also helping my parents try to get their house um, fixed up so that they can get moved into it, going through things here, trying to get everything organized, all of that stuff. And I have just been feeling very spread thin. And as you can see, I have stuff all over these tables that I was resining, and I have so much more to resin and that's why I'm thinking that this is probably going to be my last video for a while. I'm thinking I'm probably going to take about a month or so off. I hate to do that. I really appreciate all of you being part of my life and joining me on this adventure that I've been doing. But right now, I just think I need to take time to be able to get all of this stuff resined. I know nobody wants to be watching a bunch of videos of resining. I've already got two up there if you wanna check those out. That'd be great, but I don't have room. I don't have room to paint. I don't have room to resin. And um, with that coming up, I'm gonna to have to really buckle down and get a bunch of this stuff resined and get it out of the way. And it has to sit here for three days to fully cure. And even then I had one that should have been fully cured and I wrapped it up in tissue paper and the tissue paper stuck on it. And so I'm not in any too big of a hurry to get the stuff off of here and get it wrapped up and have that happen again. So with that being said, I hope that you will join me when I start back in with this. And I really, really appreciate each and every one of you I hope you have a great day and a great rest of your week. I hope to see you again soon. All right. I'll catch you later. Bye. And God bless. God bless you.